Hello everyone, today I'm doing a short video on to do a paint kiss pour in resin. First I am putting some clear down on my wooden circle. It's one of those thin ones you can get at Hobby Lobby. I had sealed it and painted it black, put tape all over the bottom and now I'm putting clear on it because whenever you put resin on something you've got to have some sort of resin um, layer that you're pouring onto because the resin won't roll over a dry surface so you need to prime it a little bit with the um, with resin anyway um, now I'm just getting rid of some of the air bubbles and heating it up just a little bit now I'm going to use the uh, two little red cups you can find these at Walmart, Dollar Tree, a couple other dollar stores I've seen them at in one cup I'm putting plain black um, that is the volcanic black from high life and then in the other cup I am mixing the coral which is coral luster from Sherry's creative and then I'm mixing on top of that uh, the blue denim is going in the cup that's from high life and then the Arctic pearl is um, went in the, on top of that now I'm doing another layer of each color, the coral, then the blue denim, and then the um, arctic white, arctic pearl, excuse me. And then I'm going to realize that I have way too much resin in my color cup, so I add some black to the other one. Because you kind of, I've noticed you kind of want to keep the levels of what you're pouring the same in both cups okay now basically you touch the two cups together and you try to pour them out to where the well it's called a paint kiss but this is more like a resin kiss you want to pay attention to the two cups instead of where where instead of the um, substrate that you're pouring onto. I should probably well this is all speeded up so it won't be a long video um, but you want to pour a little slow, okay? Now, basically, I'm going to take um, my heat gun and heat it up and get rid of some of the bubbles. Then I'm going to move it around a little bit. And then I realize I have way too much resin on there. Um, so I'm basically going to pour some of it off the sides. And... I'm, I'm just trying to keep it in the center but but get rid of some of the resin around the edges and I blew on it a little bit just to give it some movement and there I am with the torch again getting rid of the um, bubbles that might be in there and this is where all the excess resin from this project went to that is the black I'm put, putting into one of the shot glass molds I do promise you I will do a video on how I finish off these shot glass molds. I'm working on learning how to make some little candles that are small enough to go in them so they can be candle holders too. Anyway, back to the uh, painting. Okay, I'm looking it over more and I'm just not sure what to do. So I'm going to take some of the coral and I'm going to do some ribbons through it. But the coral is pretty light so it's not really showing up all that well. I'm doing the best I can with the colors. I probably should have gotten colors that had a bigger contrast. I think the white might have gotten into everything too. Um, all I'm doing here is I'm taking some of the colors that are in the um, little red cup and putting them around the edges because I was starting to notice that it was receding from the edge a little bit. And now I'm scraping off what's left out of that cup into the um, into the mold. So I'm trying to see. Okay, I'm doing the heat gun again, just to you know manipulate it a little bit and get get rid of the air bubbles that was caused by adding. Every time you add more resin, you've got to worry about air bubbles in that new resin. So now I'm going to take the blue denim and do some um, little ribbons across it. And they're pretty skinny, so I'm not really happy with them. But I was trying to keep it all 
you know, looking elegant, I guess you could say. You know, I didn't want it to be a real busy, busy piece. Um, so, basically here I'm taking the cup and I'm pouring some ribbons now to get some bigger ones. Because I didn't feel I had enough of that blue denim in the, in the project. Now I'm going to take my heat gun. And I'm going to... Uh, pop the air bubbles and start manipulating the heat the the new resin a little bit just to give it a little bit more of an organic wavy look and I'm looking at it and it looks okay uh, do have tweezers to pull anything out that I see in there I have like about four or five sets of tweezers next to my work table and basically I wanted to get some more of the coral in there so now I've got a little bit of the just plain coral mica powder on the end of a stir stick and I'm kind of lightly sprinkling it and then I thought well glitter fixes everything so let's put some glitter on there and I don't know where I got this glitter from but it's um it was out of a, a soap making department um, it might be a mica powder and I just basically I just was putting some glitter all over it so I hope you enjoyed today's video um, give me a thumbs up if you did comment and and um, and share if you haven't yet please subscribe it's free to subscribe YouTube doesn't charge you anything for that and hit the little bell for notifications that's free too and I thank you all for your support and I hope to see you in the next video.